Welcome back to more This Day in AI. And in this Sim Theory tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create an agent using the web crawl skill and the send email skill. And in the example I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna create an agent that can go off to a website, find AI news stories for us, get the links, summarize the articles via each link, and then present them to us and also send the summary to us in an email to make my life easier as a podcaster that has to go through AI news every week. So let's look in Sim Theory how we can achieve that with an agent. So the first thing to do is click create agent. And I've already created a prompt for this just to speed the video up, but I'll link it in the description below as well. It says you are Hacker News Summarizer you first navigate to Hacker News using the URL and get the latest headlines. Next, you search those headlines for mentions of AI, OpenAI, AGI, Anthropic, etc. I've given it enough examples. I think it'll be able to pick this up. And it says, if you find a headline that mentions one of these keywords, you present it to the user with the relevant link. So it's a pretty simple prompt. It might need some modifications, but let's see how we go. And I just found a typo, which I'll quickly fix. So we'll click create agent and I'll see you when it is created. All right, so our agent has been created. We've got a profile picture, a name, a greeting, and then we've got the steps that make up the process for this particular agent. So you can see the first step is a task step and it says navigate to Hacker News and extract the latest headlines. And you might be thinking, how does it actually know where the Hacker News website is? Now, it might just actually know based on how the model was trained, but you'll recall that we actually put the URL in our mission. So it knows based on its mission to go to this URL here, which is the Hacker News URL. But if you wanted to be a little bit more explicit under the task itself, instead of saying navigate to Hacker News, we could just put in the URL here to just be a bit clearer, which I highly recommend doing. So navigate to news.ycombinator.com and extract the latest headlines. Pretty simple step here. It's a task step. It's gonna go crawl the website content and it's selected GPT 3.5 Turbo by default. Now, I know for a fact, because I've tried this before, that this model is not going to do the job for this web crawl because we have to take in all the HTML data on Hacker News and try and find news related to AI. And that requires a large context size. And a context size in AI language is just all of the data that you can fit into a prompt to call the AI and ask for some information in return. So what we'll do is we can play around with this. Uh, we could use GPT-4 Turbo 128K, which has a bigger context window. We could use 16K GPT 3.5 Turbo, uh, or we could potentially use one of the Claude models. So 100k context window or 200k context window just so i know that we get a great result for what we're trying to do here i'm going to use gpt4 turbo 128k but you can experiment with all sorts of different models for this step as long as they have a larger context size now we have some thought guidance in here as well so it says the ai should focus efficient uh, on efficiently crawling the website and extracting text without any analysis at this stage so that's just going to keep the context size reasonably low, but you don't really need this step for it to work. You can also put in an ID or class to target. So if we actually go to Hacker News here and then inspect the, the source, you can see that for each span here, you have a class title line. So if you're more advanced, you can actually target this span class title line and then it'll just efficiently go through and crawl each title line as opposed to just taking in a big chunk of code and trying to figure it out. It just makes it more efficient if you know what you're looking for, but we just won't do it in this case so I can show you how capable it is. So let's save that instruction out and then we'll check out our next instruction, which says filter the extracted headlines for mentions of specific AI related keywords. So I'm not that happy with this instruction. The step or skill is correct. The analyze or summarize is exactly what we want. We want it to take what it just crawled and summarize it for us. So that's looking pretty good to me. 
We also are going to need a larger Condex size here. So we'll select GPT-4 Turbo 128K. In future, we'll have warnings that tell you that you need to select the bigger context size so that you don't stuff this up. It's really easy to think that it's broken right now, but you've just selected the wrong context size. So it's always worth thinking about that. We have some thought guidance here as well. The AI should accurately identify headlines containing the specified keywords and disregard irrelevant content. So I actually really like that. Um, for the instruction though, I'm not that happy with it. Filter the extracted headlines for mentions of specific AI related keywords. So instead I'm going to have summarize the AI related news and present the headlines and summary to the user. So that's my sort of more specific instruction there. Um, it's probably not the best. You could try a few different variants, but I'm pretty sure this will work. Um, and below that, we have an output template here. So I'm gonna leave that blank just to show you what it comes out with on its own. But then we'll come back in a moment and we'll modify the output template to show you how we can actually control how it presents the information. So the final step, like I said earlier, we don't really need because we're doing the crawl and then we're summarizing the content. So in the task here, we um, are saying present the filtered headlines. We're sort of already doing that on the previous step. So this step is, is not really needed. And when you go through that setup wizard with the initial prompt, it will often do this. It will often put in steps and things that just simply aren't needed. We're improving it over time, but right now you just really need to be aware that you're going to have to come in and, and delete and modify things to get it to work uh, as expected. Okay, so now we've got just two instructions under here. We've got this one, which is navigate and extract the latest headlines and then summarize the AI related news. We haven't yet added our send email step. We'll do that next, um, but let's go test it out and see what we've built so far. So we click into agent and then here you'll see it says, I'm now retrieving the latest headlines from Hacker News. So it's going to go ahead here, go off to Hacker News, crawl the website, get all the latest headlines. And you can see now it's done that. So it's compiling the AI related news summaries for us. And here we go. Oh no, it's outputting JSON for some silly reason. So this is definitely not what we want. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's go back to instruct and try and fix this. So it says summarize the AI related news and present the headlines and summary to the user. Um, the AI should accurately identify headlines containing the specified keywords. I think why this is happening is because GPT-4 Turbo 128K uh, really is being trained heavily on structured JSON output for developers. So that's probably why this is happening, but we can stop it happening with an output template. So here we'll say headline, we'll say summary, and then you might wanna include the total amount of comments from the Hacker News story as well, just to see how popular it is. So here we can have X comments, and then below it we'll write a substitute X for the number of comments on the news story. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll give it the a few more examples of that. And we'll say here is the latest AI news. And then we'll save it out. So let's now try again that we've given it an output template this time. Okay, so now it's retrieving the latest headlines. Fingers crossed we get what we want this time. All right, we're up to that compiling step. So it's summarizing the news for us. And it says, here's the latest news. And now we're following the output template. So that's really good. So we've got our headline, we've got the summary of each article, and then we've got the total amount of comments. Now it's not exactly how we want it because I would like these to now link up. So I'm gonna go back to instruct and under my output template here, I'm going to have include or actually we'll say make the headline link to the, rel uh, we'll say related news story. Uh, and it seems to just wanna follow this structure pretty heavily. So 
we can, instead of comments, we'll just put a little speech bubble emoji just to make it a lot more obvious that that's what it is. Uh, so let's save it out and we'll try out our agent again. Okay, so back into our agent, we'll create a new session here and let's see how we go this time. All right, we're compiling the news and here it goes. So here's the latest AI news. So you can see it followed our instruction, which is great. It put in the, the title as a link this time, which is really nice. And then it also gave us the comments and we had that comment emoji. And you can see researchers have developed a system named BrainGPT. So you can actually see that this output is like really working for us here which is great. Um, and it's giving a full summary of that story. So it's doing a lot of the work. You could also ask it, especially in my case, when I'm preparing for a podcast of topics of conversation originating from this news story, and it could present them in a pretty cool way there as well. So pretty handy stuff. Now, the final thing we want to do under instruct is add a new task. And we're going to say, send an email with the headlines uh, with the, we'll say AI news headlines, a summary of each story and the total comments to the user. So we could do automatic mode here, uh, or we can just go in and select the task itself. So I'm just gonna go into sort of pro mode here, select task, and then I'm gonna say send email. So you can see that skills been selected. We could probably use Turbo 16K or like a lesser model here because we've already done the summary of the information, but I'll just stick with the one model just for simplicity here. Okay, so now it's saved. Let's go back to the agent here and I'm gonna click new session and let's see how this plays out. And you can see our summaries underway. So we're gonna get these different AI news stories and the summaries coming through and see how fast it is too. This is pretty fast to go crawl a URL and then summarize it. So then the final step is I'm sending you an email with the latest AI news summaries. So we'll get a tick in a minute here once that email is sent and we can go and check our email as the next step. Okay, so here's our email. Dear Mike, as your dedicated AI news guy, I've compiled the latest AI related headlines from Hacker News for your review. And so you can see here, it's got the title, the link, the summary, the comments, everything that we wanted in here. In fact, the format's really great. And you can see it's just sent that uh, to us really easily. So we can now just go in, click our agent, click new session and get all of the latest headlines dropped into our inbox. Now, of course, you might be thinking, wouldn't it be great if I could just run that at the end of every week or at a certain time of day every day and get an email digest or an SMS or something like that. And of course, that is one of the abilities we're looking to bring very soon to Sim Theory, where you, where you can have these loops where the agent's going off and doing some work each week for you and then reporting back, which is really cool. But for now, you can still put all of these skills together to build all sorts of different agents that can summarize things for you, go and find information using that crawl skill. And also in this case, the other example I gave is this send email skill. And I'm gonna publish this shortly into Sim Theory. It'll be out by the time you see this video. So you can go and clone it, see how it works, play around with it, maybe make it your own, uh, maybe add some more steps to it and play around with it. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment about videos uh, of, or, or video tutorials that you'd like to see on Sim Theory next. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.